Uh, let's kick things off with that, of course, with the Mexico team roster and these guys who are uh, have, have have had five or fewer appearances with El Tri. Antonio Rodriguez, of course, the third string goalie that they'll have there. Roberto de la Rosa, what do you think of, of this list when you see it, Herc? Yeah, my immediate reaction is don't be fooled, not too much has changed. So it's 34-man roster, but yeah. there was a 26-man roster that went to Qatar, right? Yeah. 20 of those players are on this list. So, so 20 of those players are on this list, and if you think about those players, Guardado, who wasn't going to be there anyways, Calavera, Cota, they're pretty much on the way out from the national team, 35 years or older. Alexis Vega's injured, yeah. so it's really Hector Herrera uh, and, and Funes Mori who aren't on this list. So not too much has changed. Yeah, and a lot of people asking about Javier Hernandez. He's injured right now, and we know the history, of course, with the Mexican national team. Here's Diego Coca. Let's listen in. Los 34 que no se sientan que son intocables ni los que no, no los convocaron que no van a ser convocados nunca, sino que al contrario. Voy a conocerlos, voy a tomar decisiones, voy a estar cerca de ellos, voy a tener una retroalimentación de lo que necesito que tenga cada jugador para ser seleccionado. Bueno, mira, con el tema de Alejandro, primero hay que entender que son jugadores jóvenes que tienen que tomar una decisión muy importante. Eh, y hay que darle su tiempo, ¿sí? lógicamente dentro de los tiempos que nosotros podemos manejar. Si hay jugadores mexicanos que están jugando en Europa, fue primero porque destacaron en esta liga, y si están jugando y están teniendo continuidad es porque lo están haciendo bien en Europa. ¿no? Entonces, el solo hecho de que estén en Europa no, a mí no me asegura que estén en la selección. He tenido una charla con el Tata eh, muy enriquecedora, me ayudó muchísimo a agradecerle públicamente con todos los pormenores que, que vivió y que él, toda la experiencia que él tiene. Yeah, and it's good that he's talking to Tata Martino, of course, with the experience uh, that he had. <laughs> it, it, it's good at least to, to know what, what he's signing up for, Diego Coca. Yeah, listen, Tata Martino is going to give him a different perspective than maybe the majority of us could give him. I'm sure when Tata Martino speaks to him, he will speak to the fact of what it's like as a foreign manager coaching the Mexican national team and kind of navigating these heavy waters. I spoke about it not being too much of a change. Yeah. 26.5 years for Diego Coca, 28.5. So it's two full years for Tata Martín in the World Cup. You're leaving out players who are on their way out anyways. Talavera wasn't going to be part of this program. He would have been 43, turning 44. Cota would have been 38. Guardado would have been like 39. Yeah. So you're really not changing too much. That's why there's a slight difference there in age. But he's trying to send a message, do you think? Honestly, it's a very political message if it's what he's sending because he goes out and says, listen, if you're on this list, doesn't mean you're going to stay on this list. And if you're not on this list, it doesn't mean you can't be with us. Yeah. So he's very political in the way he goes about this, even when he talks about Tata Martino and what Tata Martino can give him in terms of that valuable insider knowledge. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.